Today we're repairing an Atari Jaguar. <clears throat> Very interesting piece of hardware. It has many quirks. And one of the most interesting quirks is that if you plug in a power supply with the wrong polarity, it will instantly blow up the voltage regulator, which is a 34163, I believe is the type of regulator. It goes here, it's labeled U38. These two capacitors will blow, and they need to be replaced. Also, this diode should always be checked. Mine appears fine in this one. And it's a negative tip input, the same as a Sega Genesis Model 1. So I think that's why people just, you know, plug in whatever they find around the house, and then their console's dead. This diode is not originally here. Um, I actually added this, um, even though there's a spot for it on the board, and that's for reverse polarity protection. There's also a capacitor behind it that's good to replace if it's a dead board from reverse polarity. The other thing that <clears throat> people recommend replacing, and indeed was dead on my board, is this, which is labeled Reg 1. It's a 7805 regulator in an SOIC package. LM7805 is uh, a perfect replacement for it. And again, I would recommend replacing the capacitor <clears throat> close to that one as well. So uh, I have my chip coming in the mail. Should be here in a couple of days, and I should be able to just throw it right in there and be good to go. This is a fairly easy fix, um, all things considered, and is a common problem with the Jaguar. So, good luck fixing yours. Happy hacking. Sega Sonic fan, signing out.